Find the value of x in each diagram. The first thing to do is to look and make sure that all of the angles share common vertex. So here we can see that all three angles intersect right here and have a share common vertex at point O. So we know that the sum of all of these angles all the way around have to give us 360 degrees. So we have to add all these together. So we're going to take the measure of angle AOC, which is here, plus the measure of angle AOB, which is right here, plus the measure of angle BO. C, which is right here. And all of these had to add up to 360 degrees. So let's substitute what we know. So we know that the measure of angle AOC is 4x degrees. We know that the measure of angle AOB is 84 degrees. We know the measure of angle BOC is 138 degrees. And that's all going to equal 360 degrees. Now we have to simplify. So we are going to combine these two. So 84 plus 138 gives us 222. We can rewrite all the other information that we have here. Our next step is to subtract from both sides. So we're going to subtract 222 from both sides. That will leave 4x on this side of the equation, 4x degrees, and 360 degrees minus 222 degrees leaves us with 138 degrees. Next we need to divide both sides by 4, because I'm trying to get this x right here by itself. So I need to get rid of this 4, so I'm going to divide both sides by 4, because 4 divided by 4 gives me 1, which will leave x over here by itself, and x will equal 34.5. You can then check to make sure that your work is right, so this would be my check over here. Okay, so let's check and see, and see if 4 times 334.5 plus 84 plus 138 gives me 360. 4 times 334.5 will give me 138 plus 138 plus 84 gives me 222, 222 plus 138 give you 360 degrees. So our check works and we know that our answer is correct. Let's try another problem. So again we're going to find the value of x in the diagram. Let's break these down into some steps so that we can follow them. So our first step is going to be to identify where, whether the angles shown are angles at a point. So here again we can see that all of our angles are going to intersect at point O. So we know that yes, all of these, they, they do share a common vertex. Our next step is going to be to write an equation relating all of the measures of the angles at the point. So we have angle, measure of angle BOC, which is here plus the measure of angle AOB, which is here, and then we have the measure of angle AOC, and we know that these will all equal one, six hundred, sorry, three, three hundred and sixty degrees. So now, Step three is to solve the algebraic equation. Remember to perform operations on both sides of the equation. So let's substitute the information we know. So the measure of angle BOC is 
x degrees. The measure of angle AOB is 2x degrees. And the measure of angle AOC is 4x degrees, which will all equal, when added together, 360 degrees. So let's now combine our like terms. So I see I have an x, an x here, and an x here. So I have a total, I have 3x plus 2x plus 4x. So 3 plus 2 gives me 5x, and adding another 4x will give me 9x degrees equaling 360 degrees. Our next step is to divide from both sides. So I'm now going to divide both sides by 9 in order to get x by itself because 9 divided by 9 gives me 1. So I now have x equals, and 360 divided by 9 gives me 40. Now let's check our work. So I'm put this in a different color. So the measure of angle BOC would equal 3x, which is 3 times 40, which gives me 120 degrees. Measure of angle AOB equals 2x, which would be 2 times 40, which gives me 80 degrees. And then measure of angle AOC equals 4x. 4 times 40 equals 160 degrees. So now we can check 120 degrees plus 80 degrees plus 160 degrees equals 360 degrees. So we have a correct value.